Hi, I'm Coley Wirtz, and uh, I'm going to walk through a really quick example of uh, what it's like when a client comes to me and says, hey, I need something. Uh, what can you help me with? As I go from my idea on paper, I'll move it over to the computer and show you a few pieces of software that I use. So, client comes to me and they say, Coley, I want to have a spaceship leaving a place. Uh, it's probably going to be uh, a little high tech spaceship and it's going to be a um, it's going to be leaving a place that's kind of old like I don't know, think Egypt. So the first thing I did is sketched out a, uh, a couple of directional lines which you can see in perspective so this, this ship is leaving somewhere and coming at us a little bit and it's leaving the city behind. There's an idea of how this thing might look, how it's going to fill the space, but what we want to really see in screen when I deliver the final piece is all going to more or less be right in this area. So I get this, I show it to my client, the client says, hey, I like this, let's develop it a little bit further. And I say, great. So I jump over into my computer and I bang out a really quick model in uh, Maya. Uh, Maya is one of the tools that I like to use. It allows me to make some really primitive shapes or use primitive sh or use pieces from other models to just sort of hack together what I think is a cool image. And this is gonna be a transport. Transports people, might transport some cargo, but this is essentially what I am going to show the director. So I've got my vehicle, I'm pretty stoked. Now I wanna kind of figure out what does it look like when I start throwing lights on it. Now I can stay in Maya, but what I choose to do often early in the, the stage is jump into a tool called KeyShot. It allows me to throw different materials on a model, be it metal or concrete or colored metal, and I can test how that metal will look as I rotate around an environment. These are the types of things that I'm able to sort of diagnose quickly using KeyShot. So now I'm kind of, I can take this, add more shaders to it, and go through a sketch phase uh, in, say, Photoshop. So now maybe I bounce over to Photoshop and check something out. As I continue to push, uh, I have started to gravitate more in using a, a GPU-based renderer like either Octane or Unreal. And you can see that as I move the camera, um, the background is updating pretty much in real time. And this is ray traced. You can look for what we call happy accidents, where I have, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I just start rotating stuff. So that God ray, I like it. So now I start to sort of chase it. What I'll do is I'm, if I'm happy with the way this looks, I'll render out a still from here and go into Photoshop and do a paint over. So this paint over uh, is uh, me just drawing lines, uh, adding detail in Photoshop. And you can see that a lot of the information that we had coming out of Unreal is being used inside this final image. And once this image uh, gets to this level of of, uh, of detail and finish, I'm able to sort of present this to my client and say, you know what, I think this is a vibe we can go with. It's got the, um, what and what do you think? It's got the vehicle, it's got scale in the background, uh, it's got a time of day, and it's also got, uh, you know, a color palette has been more or less suggested. At this point, we can either continue with this based on the client's comments or we can backtrack. But I've, since I've got everything saved or more or less recorded in different pieces of software at different states, we're in good shape because I can bounce. I can take a new model, put it in uh, put it in this space in Unreal if you like the background, and we just you know sort of start figuring out what we're going to replace and advance on. And that's basically the way that I go about doing a, a, an iteration for a client. MSI has made a big effort to evolve their creator series 
If you like what you saw, there's a link in the description that will take you to information on the Creator Z16. Uh, I really enjoyed banging around on this thing. If you like what you saw with regards to what I do, please check me out. I'm on Instagram and Twitter at Coley Words. Thanks a lot.